Good morning, Dave here, that foreign bloke in Udontani, Thailand. It's Monday morning, a new week, and um, we've got no power. Um, as you will know, long time viewers will anyway, we have a problem with the power cuts on a regular basis here. Now, it is something I've discussed before, and it's something I need to do something about, but I still haven't done anything about it yet. We'll get round to it in due course, it might be this year, it might be next year, but we will get round to it. Anyway, um, we are going to go out in a short while. I need to go into town, I've got some uh, visa things to sort out. We've got some errands to run, and um, then we will be back, and hopefully so will the electricity, and I will be able to do some work. But anyway, that's... Yeah, so as you can see, uh, despite that blue LED being lit, um, that's because these things are plugged into my laptop, which is a battery. Um, I have no power at the moment to do anything. I was hoping to get a video out today that I was hoping to get out yesterday, but I was busy working on the farm here. So, um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get that video out if I don't get any power, but we shall hopefully for, get the power back before lunchtime. Um, and then... Right, the electrics come back, which is good. Um, we're just about to leave to go to town to do errands. Um, but at least I know the electric will be back for work and I will have um, power for my fan and my computer and everything else I need, unless they turn it off again. Anyway, we're going to go and do uh, some errands and, um, yeah. Okay, I'm a bit glary. Um, we are in the city now. We have been to PDC Visa, um, the, the agent that I use. Uh, I'll show you that in an upcoming video once I get it back, so uh, I'll summarise the whole thing. But, um, stopped on the way in, filled up with diesel, uh, got some got money out to pay for my visa and what have you. Now we are at the um, the fish food place and uh, somebody's going to come and chuck something on the back to pick up any second now. There we go. We're done. Um, this is where we buy dog food and fish food and all that. Jav's buying fish food at the minute. So um, we're going to do that then we're going to go and get some lunch uh, on the way up to the house and we're going to stop off at the house fix a couple of things there and back to the farm on this time for work. That uh, pink and green is the fish food. Uh, he just pulled a couple of sacks off there and chucked them on the back of our pickup. So uh, we're all ready. Stopped at 7-Eleven on the main road out. Um, just buy some snacks and that, which I was getting, uh, getting some fruit from the fruit stall over there. And uh, then I'm going to go and eat Pad Thai, I think. I'm fancying a bit of Pad Thai. I know just the place. Here's the fruit and the jab on. Betty Bagoda. Yeah, okay. Or pineapple for me. Just got Maxi the Harbour. Yeah, it's got the uh, whatever it's called in English. Right, this is the place, just opposite Maxis on the way out towards the house. Very popular place. Gonna eat. Right, it's so busy outside, out there, that we have to sit inside, which we've never done before. Sugar on my pad thai. I like thighs. Okay, all mixed up pretty. Get my sticks out. Tuck in. Alright, done. Very nice. Got one packet to take to Jazz Knees. And uh, yeah, feeling satisfied. I've got my pineapple in the car to eat, so uh, all's good. Here's my doggies. Happy, happy doggies. There's coffee, 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 coffee. I don't mind, uh, I don't mind, don't mind. Lamia is pregnant, so she's not come running. Someone's had a 
Someone's had a haircut, bit of an aggressive haircut. Bung. She's the pregnant one. Oh, oh. Don't mind, needs a haircut. That's clean. Have like one need to clip a hen is Herbert. <laughs> Doesn't cut her head, just her body. Okay. Two hours later. Bye -bye. Yeah. Pug looks getting a her evening shower. She's very pampered this buffalo. With dog shampoo, yeah. <laughs> Quick update on the thing now. Moving forward. Okay, good morning. Um, second day, I think, this week. Or certainly within a week that we've got no electricity again in the morning. Um, I really need to do something about it. Some kind of alternative power supply. I don't want to invest in a big installation of solar at the minute i would like to get solar installed at some point um but the, the budget isn't really there for that at the moment um but there are alternatives and i need to do something perhaps a battery pack or something that i can charge up um off the mains but something i need to do anyway because i'm fed up now i can't make tea or anything this morning Right, I think we're going to go out and eat breakfast once we've done our morning routines. Taking the dogs out, taking the buffalo out, the usual stuff. Our chickens, we have moved to um, my brother-in-law's now. He has lots and lots of chickens and um, they're better off there with all the other chickens. So uh, we moved them last night. So uh, we don't have them to deal with. I think they found a mouse, uh, uh, a rat hole here. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I think we're going to go and get some breakfast out. Uh, we need to buy some chicken for the dogs as well. And um, hopefully the electric will be back soon. We came out to get some dog food and because we've got no electricity, I got myself a 7-Eleven um, Americano Ryan a hot americano and i've got kimchi and sticky rice to eat for my breakfast and um, i'm just in the car now eating it while i wait for jam so um yeah at least i got something to eat and a hot drink <laughs> i did make tea uh jow boiled some water on the on the fire but it wasn't nice yet. i don't know why it just doesn't it like the water tasted smoky and I don't like smoked food, I don't like anything smoky so um, my 7-Eleven coffee will do just fine anyway that's it, hopefully we will have electricity back before um, lunch time well, we shall see ok we're back and thankfully so is the uh, electricity so I've got the air there it is, the air con there on now because um, we haven't been able to tilt the windows open while we've not been here and the fans blowing and so on so it gets rather hot uh, so I'm going to cool the place down a bit and uh, yeah quarter to twelve almost so uh, a little bit of time before work okay just quickly show you tonight we are eating grilled pork jello which is very nice indeed so that's tonight's tea with um, sticky rice and some tam. Right, Friday evening and it's raining as you can hear quite hard. Uh, it's slowed down now the rain 
so we should see if it rains more tonight, but it's, we've had a good downpour anyway. Joe's got a very long pole with a, a sharp hook on the end to pick these here, my cam tent, or manila tamarind. See, we'll show you one that's red and ready. One kilogram, 120 baht in the market. You know, yeah. bit of a grey, drizzly day. Okay, we um, come into the city for a bit of a change. We used to come in every morning at one time, but now we. Um, we rarely do. Um, used to be the morning market along the pavements here and down to uh, the proper market, the municipal market, down the alleyway here. But um, we're going to go down to the, batch, uh, the pet shop and get some more flea medication for two dogs in the house and two dogs at the farm. The dogs at the farm are doing really well, but uh, just to make sure we keep on top of it. So this is uh maybe can buy uh need some first Right, we're gonna go down here to the market. The market Try not to get run over. the market but Jam's gonna get some fur to Lloyd's or this is the seed shop okay now we're gonna go to super pet land and buy some flea treatment It's uh, pretty quiet now here in the market because uh, obviously it's all acting in the mornings when we used to come early in the mornings but now we've got other things to do but we haven't had a look just for a change. It's been a while. A few moments later. First time I've been here since we've been back in Thailand. Um, mainly because I haven't needed to buy tea because I I brought tea with me from Sweden. But uh, I'm going to go in anyway and uh, get a couple of things. Oh, well, I didn't film in there, but I got some um, bacon and sausage and I got some daddy's brown sauce. I haven't had it for donkey's years and you can't get it in Sweden. So I thought, well, I'll buy it here and. Uh, I only eat it once in a blue moon, but I can take it back to Sweden and then. Anyway, we're going to go up here now. Right, I've got my tea, which can only mean one thing. I've been to Big C, but I didn't film there. But now we come down to the central uh, wholesale fruit market, fruit and veg market. So uh, they're re redoing it here and they've opened up new sections and closed the old one. So we're going to have a little look, trying to find something for uh, book look. Right, we're in the first hall. And um, we're looking for maize, corn, but only the outsides. Joe used to feed the pigs with the uh, with corn, but um, the buffalo she likes the um, the husks. So uh, that's what we're after when they've pulled off the husks and they're just selling the the cobs. Anyway, all this is new down here, this new hall on the other side of the road there. So, um, same stuff, but it's just bulk wholesale fruit and veg, but it's good. And we've got lots of chilies and lots of limes. Garlic and onions, tomatoes.
How about that? A sack of tomatoes for 40 baht. Or 10 baht a kilo. Alright, I spotted something of interest now. Crates full of waste. I'm just going back to the car to go and fetch those vegetables that Dallas found but I've just got some chicken bums, parsons noses and some sticky rice as well so all right we've got a pickup full of leaves cauliflower and cabbage for the fish in the pool and um, now we're looking for corn on this side. They've moved everything around now, so apparently corn in Thailand is not a, um, a vegetable, and that was the vegetable section over there. But I see corn here, and we shall see what we find. Pumpkins, sweet potatoes, um, yeah, mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. Bananas on that side. Huh? Bananas. Oh, so. Nah, wow. Wow. There's a very strong smell of melon in there. There's a lot of pumpkins. Pumpkin, pumpkin. I was just negotiating with the corn sellers. ก็ขอเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋
we um, saved from the dogs, or Joe saved her. Now she's fed her and uh, now she's got a boyfriend, cock a doodle doo. So she's a happy girl now. And uh, she's living here in uh, Chicken City because my brother in law has uh, a lot of chickens. So, uh, yeah. So they're happy, and these are the baby ones that we had. And they come, they remember Joe. <laughs> Look. Yeah, these ones they remember Joe. These are the, the babies and the baby that the dogs had. So, uh, and there's a friend as well. Mm. Oh, it's good in chicken land. There are a lot of chickens here. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a chicken theme park here. It's just chickens everywhere. But they're all doing well. Right, good morning, it's Sunday morning, and today I'm gonna to have something I eat very rarely. Bacon and egg and sausage, and daddy's sauce. That's even rarer, because I haven't had daddy's sauce for about, don't know how many years, but it's probably about 15. Um, so yeah, um, it's a rare occasion that I eat a, a breakfast like that. When I'm in Sweden, I don't eat it either, but as um, soon as I, found daddy's sauce yesterday I thought I had to buy bacon and sauce so I'm gonna have a good old fry up and um, that'll stand me well for the day well the bacon and egg fry up was excellent I didn't film it um, but I ate it all up delicious um, feeling a bit tired now we've been doing a bit of a uh, here and there on the farm and um, now it is uh, one o'clock and I am feeling a bit tired but um, yeah bacon and egg was excellent so um, that's probably about it for this time I'm going to uh, try and do some editing and get a video out so thanks a lot for watching thanks very much to those of you who bought me a coffee I'm very grateful uh, if you don't know what buy me a coffee there's a link down below uh, so uh, please uh, give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and uh, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel and uh, yeah thanks a lot for watching and i will catch you all on the next one bye for now